Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this end of the weekend. It is Sunday, October 15th, 2023, about 12.55 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity shows a 4.0 coming in to the Southern California area. Uh, USGS reporting this as a, well, one of these two, one, either a 3.7 or a 3.5 or potentially there was two earthquakes. Let's see here. He's coming in within the last few minutes or so. Uh, so technically we should be able to see some of that activity showing up on one of these seismograph stations here, but uh, maybe a little bit too far. I don't know. A three pointer should definitely show up down there. So we'll check back on that in a little bit. Uh, either way, EMSC reporting this as a 4.0. That's why it's on the globe as a uh, 4.0 and also 3.5. So a little bit of activity stirring up here. Uh, outside Santa Barbara area, near these uh, this little mountain range here on the, let's see which fault system that's on. Yeah, it looks like the Santa uh, Yanis Fault. Pine, maybe the Pine Mountain Fault here potentially as well. Um, Trying to think if this is the area that seen that earthquake swarm here uh, a couple months back. I think I was a little bit further south, but uh, I think it was around these areas. Either way, a little bit of activity stirring up here today. 3.7 to, uh, looks to be the largest in this little uh, event. A couple folks did report filling that so far. Um, just looks like mainly around the uh, local area. So watch Southern California it has been awfully quiet here a couple quakes in the last hour or so showing up here on the the uh, just off the plate boundary here of the San Andreas fault but for the most part it has been relatively quiet prior to this activity uh, up in Northern California pretty quiet not a whole lot of activity stirring up up there uh, outside of Reno we're seeing a, a handful of earthquakes here uh, a little swarm going on near Spanish Springs outside the Sun Valley area Again, this is northeast of the Reno Sparks area out uh, in the desert. A couple different fault systems that run through here. You can kind of see them there on the, the uh, topography of the map. Uh, up into the Pacific Northwest, nothing being reported. Let's see here. I'm just barely getting a little blip of that earthquake activity that struck up. Um, well, this station right here is Barrett, which sits down right around here so oh, technically a 3.5 or even a 3.7 should show up there uh, but it looks like looks like it just barely showed up there is two earthquakes here you can see the darkness of the graphs so more than likely that's going to be the 3.7 first and then followed up by uh, looks like the 3.5 in that area also got 2.7 stirring up here that's well that's around the reno area uh, either way we'll watch a california region here for some movement potentially uh, what else do we have for worldwide activity well afghanistan stirring up last night again they did see that 6.3 coming in um, that makes quite a few sixes now in the last couple weeks of this area 5.4 did follow that 6.3 last night and it looks like we had a handful of smaller aftershocks there in this area uh, a little bit of movement here in uh, western Iran, 5.3 from earlier this morning. Uh, there's an earthquake here in the Himalayas, 4.4 from yesterday. Uh, New Zealand, of course, late last night we've seen that 4.3 here into this, uh, the uh, subduction zone of the Hikarangi. A little bit of adjustment going on uh, up north along the Kermadec Islands area. Uh, for the most part, though, generally quiet across this region today. Uh, a look at the EMSC model shows us lacking some movement. We'll continue to watch that though for uh, for filling in, so to speak, uh, later today. Pretty deep earthquake here into the uh, the region of the Sea of Osk. That er earthquake coming in 4.2, 354 kilometers deep there into the uh, area of the Crow Kamchaka Trench. Getting some activity back building here along the subduction zone of the South Sandwich Islands. 5.1 last night and a couple other earthquakes as well. Notice this back building here. This could be a good indicator. Quite a bit of strain in this area of the subduction zone. So 
Uh, keep an eye on that today. Uh, Puerto Rico area, handful of earthquakes, and also up here off the coast of Venezuela. 4.5, 112 kilometers deep here outside the port of Spain. A little subduction zone that runs out here. Um, Yellowstone National Park. Let's double check that here real quick. See what we got for any uh, unusual activity. Doesn't look like we're seeing too much. Not a whole lot in terms of earthquake activity. A couple small spikes here. But that is about it. Main activity right now looks like it wants to highlight southern california so just be on guard out here with a little bit of movement kicking up here in the last few minutes there in southern california look at the space weather activity or lack thereof not seeing a whole lot of movement going on far as flaring goes we do have numerous sunspots out here but they are um, fairly stable for the most part not a whole lot of complexity here within the uh, magnetic cores of those uh, individual sunspots uh, overall threat though shows 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare about 1% chance or so. Not a whole lot in terms of the auroras and the forecast. Things look uh, pretty minimal for the most part. I look at the Storm Prediction Center. Not a whole lot of severe weather coming up here the next couple days. So uh, I know we do have some cooler temps out east, which is probably uh, welcome to that region. Massive low pressure system out here bringing with it some cooler temperatures not so much in the way of severe weather though west coast is dealing with high pressure influences right now uh, that is expected to build out here uh, bringing with some troughing uh, there for a portion of the uh, great lakes area and, and the midwest uh, looking at some cooler temperatures once again as we head towards the middle of next week california though going to cook a little bit along with the pacific northwest hopefully this is the last uh, summer event. I'm not a big fan of the heat. Uh, I don't see any major changes though for the uh, west coast far as any rainfall goes. Just continue to watch that though and hopefully the patterns change here soon. Alright folks, have a good one. Uh, stay safe out there and of course the member drawings coming up here a little bit later this afternoon. Uh, not for sure what time but we'll do it here within the next couple hours uh, for the member drawing. Uh, we're giving away a hundred dollar Visa or MasterCard or gift card of your choice and uh, get in on the drawing we got about 60 members right now so you have a 1 in 60 chance that's a pretty good pretty good odds there uh, being picked out of the fishbowl uh, so we are giving you guys uh, another hour or two to jump in jump on board to become a member here on this channel uh, no specific member level just be a member here on this channel and uh, you guys will be entered into the magic fishbowl to be a uh, Hopefully picked out there a little bit later on this afternoon to win some prizes. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys uh, live. We'll be doing that uh, a separate live stream for that member drawing a little bit later on this afternoon. Have a good one, folks.